this this is the story of what can happen when the power of social media is leveraged for something good i just want to say So this all started yesterday, last night when I saw the tweet from Jerome. Ce que j'ai à vous dire, mes amis, est pas très facile. Uh... Jerome's a good friend of mine. He's like a big social media guy, but he's someone who's really concentrated his efforts in social media towards helping others. 20 millions de personnes en Afrique de l'Est qui n'ont plus d'eau, n'ont plus de bétail, n'ont plus de nourriture et qui euh, s'apprêtent à vivre la pire famine. What Jerome is talking about here is the current humanitarian crisis taking place in Somalia, which isn't reported on that well here in the States, but it, it is a, uh, it's a famine that's been brought on by a drought and a number of other geopolitical issues, but it's affecting over 6 million people in Somalia alone. Et si on trouvait un avion et qu'on le remplissait de nourriture, qu'on le remplissait d'eau et qu'on l'envoyait là-bas en Somalie, so he tweeted that video. He directed it at Turkish Airlines specifically because they're the only airline that flies to Somalia. And, and then it started to pick up traction. And But uh, my friend Jerome Jar brought this to my attention that, that he thinks we can all help by getting an airplane filled with food and water to Somalia. We can't let this happen. We have to help these people. Use this hashtag, get it trending, get Turkish Airlines attention. And, and quickly this started to gain traction. It started to become bigger than just Jerome. Here you are. Tell your food. This is the origin story. This is how this happened. Okay. Friday night at 8 p.m. That's when I was on the, in front of the computer and I saw horrible famine in, in, in Somalia. I googled how to get a flight. So Turkish Airlines is the only airline going there. I decided, okay, we have to do something. We have to try to get this flight and fill it with food. So I text Ben. Hey Ben, do you see what's happening in Somalia? Millions of people are about to die from famine, just like in 2011. And this is Ben Stiller, the famous actor. Uh-huh, the original one. We're launching the Love Army now. We're going right. to ask publicly Turkish Airlines to provide a flight. Then we're going to ask food companies and people to donate food. And we're literally going to fly food and water now. It's go time. Do you guys want to document it? Yes. <laughs> he just said yes, and the next day he was here. Yeah, so well, that was an easy yes, for sure. And that's how all of this came together. I didn't think you'd actually do it. Though. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jerome, Juan, Pa, Wampa, yeah. never Juan, never Juan. <laughs> Tell me what's going on. Give me the full. Give us the full update. Okay, Go. here is what's going on. Um, about five days ago. I saw an article online about what's going on in Somalia and I wasn't aware, I think media have barely talked about it and I saw there is o there is only one airline that goes there, it's Turkish Airlines and so I thought, okay, why don't we ask Turkish Airlines if we can use that flight and fill it with food and bring bring some help there. Do you feel like you're bullying Turkish Absolutely Airlines? Absolutely not. I feel like we are getting them an opportunity to do something amazing. You don't feel like you're shaming them into helping? No, we're like, do you want to help? They can say yes or no. So we have a call with them at 1 p.m. Which, uh, which New York means time in, oh, no, minutes? No, no, in, in five minutes, sorry. In five minutes we have a call with them. And, and uh, that's where you're going to find out if they're going to help mm -hmm. with this campaign or not. Uh, with the head of communications and everything. <laughs> it's just totally do I what just, you can. I was watching yesterday. Is there a time okay. frame on it? It's not. Ready? Three. Hello. Hello. Hey, how are you today? Hello? Yes? Okay, Jero? Yes? I'm here with Chaka and Wampa and Ben and everybody's here. Okay, super. So this phone call here is the official call where they're, Hang on. Hang on guys. It's, it's, where they're finding out from Turkish Airlines can, can just, if uh, they can actually uh, use their cargo planes to bring uh, food so and relief and supplies yesterday. to Somalia. Uh, no, 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 it's not Jero, it's Chaka speaking. Um, so yesterday we were told um, that on, so there's this big 60 ton cargo flight and then after that as long as we bring food you guys will make room right somehow no matter if it doesn't really matter if it's a wide body narrow body as long as you know we find space okay, okay. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you bye bye, bye. thank you guys Woo!
Ooh. What just happened? What happened? We have a cargo flight. No, a cargo 60 flight. tons. 60 tons cargo flight to fill with food for Monday 27. That will go from Istanbul to Somalia. Somalia. And then we have an extra one, 140, 140 tons that we can uh, use of this space for the next six months. Six this months. is incredible. All right, if you didn't catch what just happened, Turkish Airlines just agreed to fill up an entire cargo plane with 60 tons, that's 120,000 pounds of food and relief to go to Somalia. They also just contributed another, unless I'm saying this wrong, I think it's another 140 tons that they would put in their other planes that like extra space to go to Somalia. This thing just got real. Like I just, I sat there, I witnessed it. There was an idea and then a tweet and then the tweet turned into a movement which became something else that has now become action. Is this good? Yeah. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Very important to recognize here how big of a deal it is for Turkish Airlines to have done this. Uh, this isn't a commercial or anything for Turkish Airlines. They just stepped up and gave no idea what the cost could be. That is a tremendous amount of resources to give an entire cargo plane and then plane after plane with extra cargo space to bring relief. And for me personally, look, I retweeted it yesterday when I saw Jerome was doing this, but right there when this had happened, these guys did all the heavy lifting. They did the hard work. I offered to be a part of the fundraising. So what's taking place now is there's a GoFundMe account that's linked below where they're trying, we are trying to raise all the money to pay for all the supplies and infrastructure to bring all of that food to Somalia. Ben Stiller's letting us use his charity, the Stiller Foundation. So all donations are tax deductible and will be managed appropriately. You'll be able to see and track everything. Donate if you can. I know there's like a lot of bad things going on in the world right now. There's a lot of things locally of concern, but it's but it's it's hard to imagine a greater priority than you know millions of people starving to death and knowing that uh, a couple bucks could impact that in a positive way. And then also with some truth, which is the fact that. Uh, you know, there are millions of people who are, are starving and struggling because of uh, this drought, because of this famine, not just in Somalia, but in Ethiopia and Kenya and South Sudan and Sudan and Uganda. Um, these planes and all this effort and all this energy that's being made by this little campaign is a drop in the hat. But I think a very important first step is one of awareness, which this seems like a very good first step towards. But uh, there's some links below if you want to understand more of what's happening there. Uh, I also linked below the American Refugee Committee, which you can also give money to. They're doing work uh, all over Eastern Africa. I'll send this with like this cool video that Turkish Airlines sent us. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you even more to people who contribute and thanks especially to Turkish Airlines for, for, for doing this. As the only airline that connects Somalia to the world, we'll be more than happy to deliver your love and assistance to Somalia on your behalf. As a Turkish Airlines family, we're proud to be a part of this great cause. Thank you. I just wanted to say 